All right, welcome y'all. It's time to get us kicked off. 2021 is upon us and it is pumpkin growing time. Heck yeah, baby. It's been a long winter, but man, it's been fun. So this year, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to call it the year of Marenzer versus Gettys. And why are we calling it Marenzer versus Gettys? Well, just a second, I'll show you. Because here we go. We're putting on all of our amendments today and we have decided on our seeds. Well, sort of. So for sure, one seed that we're growing in the greenhouse, the 1990 Marenzer. Anything that's been day near 2,000 pounds in Kansas, you gotta give it a shot. Plus, Cross with that haste last year that went extremely heavy. Lots of people probably going to be growing that seed this year. Thank you for everybody who's purchased seeds, bought them on the auctions. It's been pretty sweet watching that all winter. And then our next seeds are either going to be the 2304 Gettys or the 2200 Gettys. One of those two will make it into the patch this year. So we're going to have a little competition between our two pumpkins growing in here. We're going to see whether or not... The 1990 Marenzer does better, or one of the Getty seeds, whichever one we choose. And then, last year, I was a few hundred pounds away from growing 4,000 plus pounds of pumpkins, which would have given me a jacket. So, I was, I'm not going to be one of the cool guys walking around with a jacket next year, but I want to try to make sure I get a jacket this year. So... We're going to grow one pumpkin outside. Probably won't be doing much updates on that one just because I don't expect it to do a ton. Maybe a thousand pounds is what we're shooting for. And we got some great seeds though. We got the 2294.5 Noel, which has grown some really big pumpkins. Uh, the Patton, the 2000 Damage Patton, which was a sweet pumpkin. Maybe get us some orange in there. Or, of course, the 1612 Marenzer, which went 26% heavy. So one of those three are going to be grown outside. So that's going to be it. Now, what's all this other stuff, you might be wondering? Well, our uh, local company is called Surecrop. So that's where I get all my fertilizer from. That's where I actually send off all of my soil samples to. And they give me a uh, analysis and... I am not smart. I actually have this here, the Giant Pumpkin Grower's Guide to Interpreting Soil Test and Managing Fertility. Joel Alt, eight, Alts, eight. I'm not exactly sure how to say your name, Joel, if you're watching, Joe, if you're watching this, but uh, he made this and it's really awesome. I still don't understand it because I am, I am not that smart, but I have Surecrop who gives me an exact amount of everything that I should be putting on my soil. So I've done one from, if you can see that, back in 2017, and I did another one here in this fall. I've done many soil tests in between. I got another one out right now. So it give, they tell me exactly what I need. They tell me exactly how much to put on there. And there you go. There's a little look at my soil from this last fall. Now this was after I had made some amendments, so it's changed. So I've got... Uh, soil test right now being done that will tell me exactly where I'm at but they tell me exactly how much to put on so that's what we're doing today we're having our amendments from the the spring soil test I did it last fall now we're doing it again so there's a few things that I need here your soil test will be completely different I can't tell you exactly what you need just get you an analysis if you don't have somebody that can read it for you post it on big pumpkins they'll show you exactly what to do so this here is one of my secret weapons this year. Surecrop gives me a lot of great products. And this here is fish. Now anybody who's a giant pumpkin grower, who's a true giant pumpkin grower, might understand me. Other people probably won't right now. But basically, this smells exactly like dogs and cats. So if you know what dogs and cats is, and it's extremely hard to get a hold of right now, this stuff might be just as good, if not better. So that's what I'm going to be using to spray on my plants throughout the season. It is awesome. It stinks. Rigs, the whole place will smell like fish after you put some of that stuff on. And now finally, if you've been watching my other videos, you probably have noticed some of the stuff that we always have going on in my greenhouse. 
and I like giving everybody a little look, but I don't tell anything. There's a lot of updates that I've been making throughout the winter. And so you're probably asking yourself, what in the heck is all of this? Well, let me tell you, it's a secret. Let me just tell you something else. There's a ton going on behind me. There's a ton going on in that guy right there. Lots going on in there. There's even more on the way. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. You probably won't see that because this year I think I'm just gonna do videos showing the two pumpkins growing. Maybe we'll do a couple of guesses to let people win, maybe. I'm not sure if we're even gonna do that this year. There's probably gonna be a lot fewer videos. Sorry about that to everybody, but we'll give you some updates on the pumpkins at least, so you're gonna be able to see them growing. So, who knows? Who knows what we're gonna do, but I'm telling you one thing, we're shooting big this year and I hope you are too. All right, good luck everybody. We'll see you here in a little bit.